to you, my people. It is a great day for me and a day of joy to have you all come today to support my campaign. Over the years, those who we have represented to go and represent us, those who we have elected to go represent us have not done well. They have taken what belongs to us and put in their personal pockets. But this time, I am going to bring it down to the people. I get one employment. I get one rocker. I We shall have free education. That is why we have come. That is why I ask you to vote for Richard. Vote for PPP. So that we will have progress. Are we a Who said men no day? Oh no, please now don't do this thing to us now. This is our land. Eh, no. where, where do you expect us to go to? Eh? Can you hear yourself? Eh? Can you hear yourself? Make us of me chief. Let me tell you. Take your evil heart and go far away from here. And make sure you do not come back to this place. Else I will personally ensure that the entire if the youth stone both of you to death. Fools. Oh no, please, oh. Oh, all we need is for you to help us beg our father so that we can correct the mistakes. All we need is another chance. What, what chance? You had your chances, but you blew it. And let me tell you, it is only the gods that can give another chance. Yeah? See you Take them away from me. Out! 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 What's the problem? You still sleeping by this time? I thought woke up. Our meeting is in 40 minutes time. Jesus what? So it was a dream. I had a terrible dream. We are just out of this palace. Are you okay? You had a terrible dream. You were just out of the palace. No, we. You and I. You are who? Maker, we were just out of this palace. My father, you are not okay. Even in your dream, it's not possible. Manaro, under possible. You are who? We are just out of the palace. You, you, not the maker. You do what? Ah, what is hot? Running temperature. No, 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 not. You are not. My friend, I'm leaving, so you need to see a doctor. See you. You are a fool. Do you know you are very, very stupid? What is this side mirror meant for? 
I was the first person that entered this lane. You know? I am the first person that entered this lane. I, are you not supposed to make you are me your own? Are you mad? You, you, are you, are you are a madman. You are a madman. I'm a madman. You don't have sense. I'm a madman. You don't have driving Did license. Did you even go to driving school at all? You don't have driving license. That's why you are driving oh, this rubbish. Man. You are a madman. You, you don't have common sense. Hey. You are a madman. You 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 have no driving license. You don't have driving license. That's why. What's the meaning of this? What's happening there? What? Should I be here listening to those crappy stories? No, sir. Are you aware that time waits for nobody? Sorry, sir. Sorry about this. My friend, we are running left for the government function. Throw them out of the way. Rubbish. Come on, do first. Oh! I will bust you! I will bust this in your left eye, Zinki! Can you imagine? Get out of there! Must you talk to them in that, that, that kind of manner? Force is the only language they understand. What happened? What was the problem? What are you talking about? No, Igwe, we can't run away from the truth. No. Your Highness. Yes. Everyone knows that you have brought great liberation to this community. Since you took over power from your father, things have changed for better in Ifite. <laughs> you have brought in so many investors that created a lot of business opportunities yes, for the people. Yes. Acres of land have been released for farming purposes. Your Highness, may your days be long. <laughs>
great prince of Ifite. Eh, uh, yeah, I'm not going to say Ask to stand up, stand up and go back to your position. Guards, just stand up. Huh? Prince. <laughs> Nse na mambo baturu no bi odogu nunu batalo no bi odogu na muslimu no no bi odogu ni ve wa kali kwa no mambo bam no no bi odogu the great prince of the land ah the future of this great land yes long live iwe harrison yes the if the one of if the he say for na so na do dal no worry is him one oh no hmm gaga no the great prince of Ifite. Mm? <laughs> the future of this land. May your days be long. Yes, <laughs> Welcome, my Thank you, Dad. So, how was the event? Yeah, it was successful, Dad. Good. Well, you said the commission will be a small event. <laughs> but the roll call was thick and long. Hey. Then he's right. All the power brokers of this state were there present. Mm. And they, I gave your good message to the governor himself. Awesome, mm. Kenegi. That's impressive. It's impressive. You see, I, I knew I could trust you both to represent me properly there. There was no way I could have explained my absence to the governor. It was a big relief that you both were there to take my place. You know what? I was surprised to see the governor's second doctor. Oh, grown up, looking beautiful, flashy, and elegant. I was even surprised that she graduated from Oxford University. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. That's great. That's great. You see, you see, I was, I was going to that. You see, it is time you both get your spouses, get married. Hey, 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 listen, listen, I'm serious about this issue. You are not getting any of your people. Oh, daddy. Oh. The ego himself. Igwe, I understand. We shall come to that later. Let's leave that one aside now. Hmm. Huh? Keep quiet. How do you mean when the time comes? When do you plan to make that time come? Eh? See, the community is here waiting for me to present the heir to Imobi. And here you are telling me when the time comes. No. See, what we are saying is that you men need to get your wives, settle down, and begin to make babies. Especially you, Prince Arise. Being the first son of His Royal Highness here. Very soon, you'll be introduced to this kingdom as the heir to the throne. So you don't need to delay over this matter. Um, I know I've heard you all. I know it's my obligation to get myself a wife uh, that will soon be the queen of this great kingdom. Mm -hmm. uh, but I shall do that when the time comes. It will. Amen. 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 It's a serious matter. Uh, um, Igwe, I've heard you. Um, I promise I, I will do that um, when the time is right. It's a big responsibility. Uh, no problem. Igwe, Anugo, hello. My prince. Anugo, my friend. Amen, Gwangwa. Amen, our Lord, Ashi. Always you. Hmm? Let us look for the black good before it is night. <laughs> Delay is dangerous in a matter like this. Thank you so much. Please, can I take my leave now? Thank you, sir. The great prince. <laughs> you see, this is all I get whenever I talk about marriage. 
It will be all right. It will be all right. Oga the chamma. Oga the chamma. Ah, it will be fine. I'm gonna do gugwa do kunye. When the time is right, it will happen. The time is now, my prince. Mm -hmm. No, now <laughs> is now. Time is now. <laughs> But please, my children, I'm hungry. I am very hungry. I need some food. I have not eaten anything since. Madam, is that, is that why you should stand in the middle of the road, madam? Eh? What if you have crossed it? Giga, what are you doing? Sorry, I'm not And we're running late for a meeting. Does it mean that you don't have children? Uh, my last child died years ago. I don't have any child. But what about your relatives now? At least they should be able to take care of you. I don't. I don't have relatives. You don't have children? Yeah. You don't have relatives? Mm. Then you must be a witch. I'm not a witch, my child. Something is wrong. I don't know, but Dad. I'm not a witch. Dad. Dad. Please, take care out of the place. Eh? Uh, uh, stop, no stop, children, stop. no relatives. Madam. Something is wrong. Hmm? Um, what, uh, but what tell him something. But madam, you must not stand in the middle of the road to prove a point. Huh? What if we had crossed you? Why not stand by the side? Or even go to a church? I'm sorry. Because how much you make our money? Stop. Madam Biko, 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 take this. What if we take Always. care of yourself? Take and disappear. Hey, this and, one? Yes. Hey, and stop blocking the road, please. Thank you, my children. I can disappear. Thank you. Thank you. God bless you, eh? God bless you. God will bless you. Oh, eh, my child. Thank you, Mum. God will bless you. God will bless you. God will bless you. God will bless you. Mr. Chairman, I will not have this. I can't take this. I mean, how could my campaign be disrupted in such manner? I don't know where the talks came from. They came and disrupted and scattered everything ruthlessly. Are you asking me to take it calmly? I am convinced that my opponents are actually behind this. I mean, what else do you have to explain for this? How do I explain this? Miscreants, loafers, invading my campaign ground and making away with everything, disrupting what was going on, driving everybody astray, and you're telling me to take it lightly? No! I will get to the root of this. In fact, I'm going to invite those youths to my house and make an inquiry and try to find out where this came from. If I do not get a positive or a reasonable answer, I will round them all up. You see, we all know why they acted that way. Money is the simple reason. Yes, money. My source told me in confidence that your main opponent paid him huge amounts of money. And the youth leader now connived with some miscreants to stop your campaign. That is the simple reason why this thing happened. That is it. That is why I tell you to calm down. We must get to the root of all these things. Why? As a why? political party, we are not sleeping. Why would he do that? Mr. Chairman, please, I want the party to ensure that this is tackled and gotten to the root of. Please. It's all, it's all right. Thank you for coming. We'll take sir. care of it. Thank Don't you. worry, take Thank it easy. You. Have it's a nice day. Fortunate with you. Thank you very much. Jojo, baby. I'm so happy to see you, my love. Thank you. The last time we spoke, you said you were serving in Far North. 
How was the orientation camp? Hope you had a good time. Hmm. Hmm? Good time, you see. My dear. Look at my skin. <laughs> you see, the northern weather. No be here. I wonder how people even cope with such a harsh climate. My dear, this is Nigeria for you. But your skin doesn't look bad to me. You look good. <laughs> You're glowing. Mm-hmm. It's because I just worked on my skin. I told you when I came back, eh? Hey, you will even be like, babe, what is this? What happened? Are you serious? Seriously, I had to work on my skin. My dear, I can't even recall how many times I dozed off in that bathtub trying to recover my skin. <laughs> I was looking like a eh, dummy. Ha! And it's not easy, seriously. I'm not even praying for anyone to go there and serve. Mm. So Are you serious? No, seriously. Oh, yeah. So, please, tell me, how are you? My sister, I'm fine. It's just that I am stuck in this palace and bored. Mm -hmm. You know why? I have been going about attending several interviews awaiting their response. It's not been easy. What? I need a job. Interviews? I don't get this. Babe, <laughs> I am sure with your father's connection, in fact, I am 100% sure with your father's connection, hmm, you're going to get a juicy offer. Why are you stressing yourself? <laughs> if I'm you, I will just cross my leg because I know that job will come looking for me. Is that <clears> easy <throat> to say, my dear? Look, I am not daddy's girl. I am my own woman. I love to make my own Benjamins, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? <laughs> my own money. I don't want to depend on my father's wealth for any reason. Excuse me, my princess. Yeah. Lunch is served. Oh, thank you, Mary. Right time. You're lucky. So join me for lunch. Oh, please. See, I need to go. I have an urgent meeting to attend to. Jojo, mm -hmm. that's very rude of you. You just came. Or did your parents tell you not to eat in people's houses? Oh, please. This is my household. Excuse me, young lady. I'm a big girl. I'm no longer a kid. I hear you. <laughs> See you. Sure, I promise I'll come back. Okay. I trust you. <laughs> My lovely friend, I'll miss you. Oh, who put this? It's just my friends. Is there mm. a problem, sir? Yes, sir. Big problem. This is pepper. Very hot. Ah. Everything's right. There's no much pepper in this food. I personally supervised the pepper before it was added to the food. Exactly. Mom is right. Uh, she has always supervised every meal cooked in this house. My friend, my friend, take this out of this place. Take. You see, that is why I am saying that you men should go and get married. Get married and have your own family so that your wives can give you what you want at any time. Daddy, you're talking as if it's easy. I mean, easy. It's not easy. I mean, honestly, it's easier said than done. Daddy, you have to fall in love first before getting a wife. What huh? is not easy? We have beautiful maidens spread all over in the kingdom. And from reputable families, all you need to do is just pick one and make your choice. And that one is yours. Simple. Well, Dad, why did you tell Chifodia, a total stranger, to come and talk to us about marriage? Did you say Chifodia is a total stranger? He is your uncle. I mean, your father's blood brother. Yeah. And also, the traditional prime minister of this great kingdom. Uh, please, where is the chef? Let that chef come and get me something else to eat. It's pepper. It's very hot. Mm. Let me go. Let me pass, please. Emeka, we are talking about millions here. I suggest let's give them a, a very good run for their money. Emeka, let's go after the bull and grab it by its horns. You're correct, bro. Don't forget that when you want to double in a day, 
You cannot gamble in a day when there is another giant on the day. Father will be cross with us if you do that. And I'm very much concerned about the money involved. I've never known you to be measuring with money. I've never known you to be lily live out with money. There you go, there you go. Obviously, guy, what is happening? Have you forgotten that we send money on errand and expect it to come back multiplied? Ani Diego, Diego, bada bada. You could be an accountant. I don't know what is happening. Lisa, you sound so confident. I am almost very confident. My brother, have you forgotten? This is not the first time we've undertaken this kind of job, and you risk it without fear of anybody. This is not you. I understand you. But I just want you to know that when this backfires, you are the only one to go down. Because I, Amy, Jakarta, will not be involved. We never forgotten that we are stuck together as twins. One day we'll go down together if anything happens. Just that. Two of us are I hit here all two of us for the benefit of the I two of us. When you want to take a risk, you take a calculated risk. One day you can do this thing, the maker. You can do this. We've been doing this before. I say you don't strike and lose, you strike and hammer. Take a calculated risk. I'm not striking to lose. You can do it. We can do it. I say give it a second thought. One day, cherry, cherry. I want you to chip in words on behalf of our daughter, Isabel. She really needs a job right now. And she can't protest about it. But I sense her frustrations every day. Hmm. Why would she feel that way? Let her go ahead and join the family business. But my lord, Arinze and Emeka are already in charge in the company. So... Woman, woman, there's no law that says she can't join them. She's part of the family. Let her go over there and take charge of those departments yearning for attention. There are so many of them. Okay, yes. thank you, sir. I will talk to her. Good. Hey, that reminds me. When last did you ever have a sincere conversation with our sons? I want you to sit them down and talk sense into their heads because they are beginning to derail. How, my lord? I mean, I don't understand. Okay, okay, look, look at it this way. Is it not obvious that they are intelligently trying to touch marriage matters? You see, it, it, it's like they do not know what is expected of them. They don't know. I want you to make our time and talk to them. Perhaps they will listen to you. I will do as you have instructed, my lord. All right. I will. All right. And please don't forget to tell them that it is always natural to have a human face. Going about treating people arrogantly is not the best way. The word they say is enough for the wise. All right, my lord. I will talk to them. Okay. I promise. You're welcome. Thank you. Je <laughs> Hello. Uh, <laughs> How are you? <laughs> yes. In fact, I am at the site of the hospital project now. You need to see the work that these workers are doing here. Huh? These people are putting enough speed into the work. I, I, I want to tell you, very, very soon, 
our people will no longer travel out of Ifite for medical checkup. Uh -huh, no. <laughs> people from other towns will be coming into Ifite to receive medical attention. Anyway, I will get back to you. Yes, I am very busy now. I'm trying to supervise the project. You know, he will ask me to stay here and watch over it. Ngwan, Ngwan, thank you. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. Oh, no. ah, my priest. <laughs> um, you're welcome. You're here? Yes, <laughs> you're welcome. Uh, you know, your father, the king, put me in charge as the supervisor of this hospital project. And I have come to ensure that things are working according to plan, as you can see. <laughs> um, unfortunately, there's a change of plan. Eh. Oh, yes. We have decided to convert this place to a faster hotel because of its location. And uh, very soon, I'll be getting the contractors to start work immediately. Mm -mm, please, 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 please don't go there. Please, please. You know our people need this hospital more than they need a hotel. And besides, there are too many hotels in Ifite. Even the royal family has about four hotels in Ifite. Changing this one to a hotel from a hospital will not be a good idea. Please, please, my prince. Uh, <coughs> um, uh, no, thank you for your contributions. You have done well. Uh, please, uh, I think uh, you have to go home and rest. You know, you have to go and rest your bones. You know, the kids you can. Well, you have done well. My um, prince, oh, no, if the the Igwe must hear this. Thank you. Thank you for your contributions, okay? Igwe must hear this. We must call the, the contractor today. Igwe. Yes, Lord. That was how I left the site. In fact, as we speak, <laughs> The initial plan of that project is being restructured. You can't believe it. I'm so sorry about that. I, I have no idea of this new development. That site is for the hospital as proposed. And it is for the welfare of my people. Nothing can stop it. I will look into that issue. Your Highness, you know the entire Ifite Kingdom is singing your praise. Mm. Because of the great development you have brought into this kingdom. If you go ahead and approve of the restructuring of this plan, Igwe, <laughs> it will make people lose confidence in you as a king. Whose word is supposed to be law? That is what I have to say about it. I, I, I promise you, I give you my words, that I will look into the matter with immediate effect. I will. Um, we thought we should come around and uh, let you know the latest. We should be on our way, Your Highness. May you live long.
of yourselves? Eh? You're fighting for it in the middle of the road. It's, it's your good number. Ara, Ara, Obagunu. My prince, you cost it. Hey, 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 shut up. You're a total disgrace to women. Jesus. How dare you to be fighting just like this? Are you okay? Not leave with that. Come. What was the matter? My prince, I caught her right handed with my boyfriend. And she called herself my best friend. Hey! I leave it on her way! You see? You are fighting over a man. Not leave with that. Kunu na lock because of work. You were fighting over a man. Hey! I leave it there. I don't know what to do. Jesus! Jesus! Hi! Hi! How are you? 19, my prince. 19? Go on, how old are you? 17. 17? Who knows Revising my orders to suit your selfish desires. How could you? That I don't understand. Why are you speaking this way? I mean, who did what is best for this kingdom? Oh, in doing what is best for your kingdom, you are turning my own people against me. That's not true, Dad. That's not true. What did we do? We can't remember disobeying your orders. Or even turning your people against you. We're looking by it. Who asked you to take over the hospital project I promised the people and turn it to a hotel project? Who asked you to do that? Well, but, but Dad, we thought you should be happy for us. Of course, Dad. That's a very smart way of investing more money. Make more money for you. We can even improve on the health centers. scattered all over Ifite. Even the general hospital near the neighboring town. Yes, Dad. This is outrageous. Uh, no, Dad. But it is not. At all. Dad, why should you speak in that manner? Then you know, going by the spirit of um, um, the hospitality business in town, mm -hmm. I mean, it's not a bad idea if you should add another one. And that you remember that it is situated at a very good site, which means after completion, that place is going to be a bomb. I can't believe this is happening. Do you people think that everything is about money? No. Is that what you think? Dad, that's universal language. Will you keep quiet? What is universal language? You dare not interrupt me while I'm still talking. I have seen your father and the king of Ifite. We have enough money, enough to feed our family, even our generations yet unborn. Have you people ever thought of living for the people? A life of sacrifice, have you ever thought of that? Now listen to me. I don't want to see you on that side anymore. Have I made myself clear? 
Have I made myself clear? Oh, Dad, you just want to create more money for the family, more business. Now, both of you, get out of my sight. Get out of my sight! inside. Whom were you yelling at? Woman, you have to talk to your sons. Why are they bent on soiling my reputation? Why? Eh? My husband, you have to take it easy with this boy too. Eh? Remember what the doctor said about your health. How could they change my hospital project I promised the people to a hotel project without my consent? Is it proper? Is that why you're giving yourself this headache? Eh? I know my children too well. Maybe that move will yield more profit than the hospital. Check it, why you? Hey! Hey! You hear yourself talking? Just like your sons. Oh, so you people think that everything is about money? We have this money! We have it to take care of ourselves and our generations yet unborn. What we need to do now is to consider what our people need. Consider what they need. How could you support such, such wicked and outrageous project? How could you support that? Your look, Highness. look, I, I, I am disappointed. Your Highness, see, you have to calm down. Eh? Remember the situation of your health. Biko Pao. Woman, please get out of my sight. I want to be left alone. Eh? I said leave. But. Oh. Money, 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 money. Mom, I have made up my mind. Henceforth, I'm going to withdraw all scholarships and goodwill I render to the people of this community. And that is it. Ah, uh -uh. Richard, I didn't raise you to be that. Eh? I know you as a good person that has the welfare of the people at heart. Pick on one. Please, my son, think Why twice, you okay? Uh -huh, mama. Oh, Thank you. There's nothing to think about, Mama. I have thought about it. Do you know the damage that has caused on me? Do you know what that has done to my reputation and my political ambition? Do you know what it has done? I mean, if you want to remove a politician or you're not happy with his performance or so, the best way to do that is through the polls. Did you see the kind of violence that erupted there? And you're telling me to calm down and take it easy, Mama. No! Vivian, why don't you talk to your husband? His hot temper will spoil things sometimes. Mama, I spoke to him this morning. I mean, there's no need collecting what you're giving to the people out of goodwill. It's wrong. I don't care. We care. Where your family will love you. Just relax and look for the loopholes. We feel it and then we move on to victory. All I know is they should go back to their sponsors. Whoever sponsored them to come and disrupt what I was doing should carry on from where I stopped with their scholarship and the goodwill and their well-being. And that's my point. Not me. I'm done. Richard, listen to your wife. Baby. Baby, please listen! Mama, I... How could you both embarrass your father like that? By changing his hospital project to a hotel? Mom, we didn't embarrass our dad. Mama, I was expecting you to be on our side, yes. to support us. Exactly my point. Mama, we are just trying to build a very strong business empire. There is water of emulation all over Africa. A strong business dynasty. We are contented with the one we are blessed with. Now, to the more important issue. It is time you get married and settle down. No more excuses. Mom. Shut up. I am not yet done. You both are the pride of this community. And everybody is looking up to you to do the right thing. Once you pick a bride, the Moby will confirm you the heir. And everything will fall in place. 
What seems to be the problem? Or should I assist in picking a bride for the both of you? No, mom, mom. Mom, relax now. You're working yourself up. Relax. Huh? I rap again again get water and wine. Mak again upon. Mom, relax. I will pick a woman for myself. I will do it. I don't let the tension is becoming too much. Hmm? Then you both should get to work and stop wasting precious time. No, we'll get to work. Good. Back up one more. Is there another thing? I had you more. Oh, my maidy, your daughter made it. What is it? Guess. Oh, I am too excited to guess what's making you smile so lovely. Come on, break now, the mommy. news. Mommy, guess a little. Come on, try something. I can't guess. Mom, I know you're intelligent. Try a little bit. I am, but right now I can't guess. Okay. Please. I have finally secured a job. How? <laughs> <laughs> oh, how? I mean, how did it happen? When we had already lost hope and decided you joined the family company. Here. It says <laughs> that I am now the head of operations to Hakro Oil Company. An oil company? Mm hmm Interesting. I'm so happy for you, Mama. Not child. done yet. Mm -mm. It comes with an official car and a sprawling apartment. Wow! Uh, what, how much is the salary? Mom, are you seriously asking me that? Yes, nah, that mean. is confidential. I'm not telling you. <laughs> That's my little secret. Come on. Come on, my daughter. Tell me. Okay, I will let it out because you're my paddy. That's my baby girl. It's in six figures six figures you know what that means right wow a lot of money please 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 hurry and break the news to your father hurry mom please. i'm going to cut work to my dad because right now take this to him mommy take it oh my god i'm so happy mm -hmm. <laughs> so thank you Babe, <laughs> I am so happy for you. Look at you. They have already decided to join your family company. Now you have a new job in the oil sector. Ha! <laughs> My sister Nagodo, you know, all this while, I've been trying to see how I can make my father understand my dream of carving a niche for myself in the oil sector. You're correct. Now my dream has come to pass. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Seriously, I'm so happy for you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Finally, you're out of the castle. Uh -huh. Free from <sighs> out of boredom. Seriously. My father's father. <laughs> I'm so happy for you. Thank you. So your mother. She's fine. She's fine. Wow. See. See this appointment cause for celebration. I hope you came prepared. Of course I came prepared. Mm -hmm. uh, why am I here? Get ready, let's go out. I'm going to spoil you. Uh -huh. I'll make sure you have fun. <laughs> That's my girl. <laughs> You're so done in me. Let me get my handbag. All right. <laughs> What if it is my destiny? I don't care. By fire, by flesh, I must hold up. What if it is?
I am very happy that you honored my invitation. It's a thing of joy to me and I appreciate that. You're welcome. As you all know, I have been a philanthropist and a good politician in this community. All about me is about progress and development and how to bring that into this community. But lately, I do not understand. There's been some, some kind of negative influence and negative elements in this community who have decided that um, good things would not last. I was having my campaign a few days ago and some youths came and disturbed, disrupted and chased everybody away and that did not go down well with me. So I called the youths of this community to ask why this recklessness and why this sudden form of irresponsibility? Why? Uh, honorable. Am I going to win? Yes. Am I going to win? Yes. What's going on? Yes. Um, you know me too well. Uh, first of all, I, I must commend you for all you've done for this community. Since we came to know you as a person, you've done many good things for us. Yes. And we quite appreciate that. Thank you. But uh, on this issue in question, it is highly sensitive. In fact, let me be candid with you. The position you are seeking for right now, I don't think you can get it because we have someone who have decided that will go for us. But he will not do such a position. I'm not going to talk about it. When you come to I mean, this is politics. Everybody has a level playing field. All you need to do is come out, campaign, bring out your manifesto, convince the people to vote for you, and if they vote for you, you go. You don't have to restrict or limit it to anybody. I mean, we can all contest the position. Let us stop it around the bush. Richard, we are the one that disturb your campaign because you have no right to contest any political post in this community. It's not been done like that. I beg your pardon. What is what are they talking about? Um Honorable Richard, I think it's time we tell you the truth. Which is? Um you see the position you're seeking for. You cannot get it. You cannot get it because it is solely reserved for sons and daughters of this community. Wow. In wow. 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 It's okay. It's okay. You are not from here. Ah. And when a man does not know his root, that man may make a mistake. Yes. So go and trace your root. You are not from here. That position. I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do that. If that's all you invited us to, I think you, you have to take it. I want. <laughs> <laughs> Amma, tell me, who am I? You're Richard. I don't know what you're talking about. Where is this statement coming from? Mama, don't pretend like you don't know what I'm talking about. Because all my life, I have never been humiliated the way I was recently. Tell me who I am. Let me know what I'm doing. Okay, fine. You are my son. I am your mother. 
I carried you for nine good months in my womb. Start telling me the truth now because if you don't, I will leave this village and nobody will ever set eyes on me again. I am your mother. Fine. I didn't want to tell you all this because I loved you. And I wanted to protect you. Protect me from what? Mama, talk to me. What are you talking about? Richard, your father is from Ifite Kingdom. so long. I've been waiting for you. I'm sorry, my love. I was with my mother. I think she's suspecting I'm having an affair with you. No. Please. Did you tell her anything? I'm in trouble. She's going to kill me. I will tell her everything. You see, you are the woman I want to spend my life with. I love you. And this, she must know. I don't think it's a good idea. The Queen, your mother, I know would never support of you marrying me. I mean nobody. My prince, you have royal blood. I'm but a common maid. A common maid who has found favor in the sight of the prince. Go back to your chambers. I will tell her everything about us. My prince, you can't do this, please. Please don't, don't tell her anything. I don't think it's a good idea. It's okay. It's okay. My prince. It's okay. Go back. My prince, but... It's okay. Go back. My prince. My prince. Son, are you okay? Mother, there is something very important I want to discuss with you. Uh, go ahead, I'm out. Yes, hope all is well. I have found a woman I want to spend the rest of my life with. Wow, that's a great news. You see, I've been expecting this from you for quite some time now. Ha! Huh. You are a crown prince. Soon you'll be a king. And um, who is this lucky girl that has succeeded in stealing the heart of my adorable son? I mean, who is she? And which royal family is she from? She is not from a royal family. She is a Nenna. What? Nenna? The daughter of my late cook? No. No. Mother, I know she is not from a royal family. But I have lived with this girl like a sister and a friend. The bond between us is so strong. I want to spend the rest of my life with her. I love her mother. Please. You must be out of your mind. I noticed there is something between you two. But I never knew it would come to this level. Look. You will never marry her. A common maid with no background. Never. You will not. Ha! <sighs> 
Please, mother. I love her so much. Shut up! Shut up your mouth! What do you know about love? Son, I want the best for you! You cannot marry her! Never you will not! And by the way, where is that useless girl? Where is she? Hold up! The only reason I'm allowing you to walk away is because of your mother. She served me well when she was alive as a cook. And you, you want to reap where you did not sow. No, Go dig and that's what you are. No, ma. And listen and listen very well. If I ever see you close to my son or near this palace, I will kill you. And I will surely do that. Will you get out of my side? Get out! My queen, please, I have nowhere else to go. This palace is all I've come to know as my home. I have no other place out there. You no did way. not think about this. Please, please, Come and leave me. God! Your Show her out of this palace. I don't want to set my eyes on her again. Do you hear me? Come and leave me. Come and go. My queen, you will let me. My queen, please. My queen. Get out! That was how I left the palace and never returned. I didn't know that. I was a few weeks pregnant when I met my husband. I married him a year after I might have gotten you. He loved you and accepted you as his own. We all know how he died in a motor accident together with your siblings on their way back from school. We all think that memory. I'm sorry that I kept you in the dark. Um, so, who is my biological father? Is, is, is he still alive? Can, can, can I trace him in any way? Yes, son. Your father is alive. Is it Dad? Dad? Dad. I've been meaning to ask. Why do the maids and the guards have to kneel or bow whenever they see any member of the royal household? And why all this fanfare? Why? My son, in our tradition, that is a mark of respect for royalty. 